Well, um, hopefully that was a really um, insightful session for you, but I know the IBS is something that affects a huge amount of people, and it is very much stress-related, so I recommend relaxing. And what we're going to do right now is very relaxing, or at least not for Grant, um, who is getting his butt whipped. Um, but we have got Jack and Sam Shields, two youngsters who have opened my eyes as to what is possible if you put your mind to it, and you got bucket loads of grey matter, I'm assuming. <laughs> now, James, welcome to the show. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm um, just watching Grant getting his, his self-taught a lesson there <laughs> in one of your games. You guys are game designers, which is an yeah. amazing thing. Yeah. Where did it all begin? Well, it started when we were about two or three years old. We were toddlers. My dad brought back a computer from work, mm. and we just got into games. We were really into that kind of stuff. And so we followed through. We started learning. I got into 3D and 2D animation. That was my big thing. And then Sam, he started off with a bit of programming and development, and that's what he got into. Because this yeah. is, you, you got to hit it from both sides. It's, it's about having the, the programming background, but you've also got to be able to conceptualize these things and exactly, see these exactly. things. Exactly, because yeah. I do the, I'm the creative, he's, creative one, he's yeah. the technical guy, and it just works really well together. So we've always been like that. Uh, when you're not everyone is lucky enough to, to have another sibling born into the family with the same <laughs> sort of passions, but um, what was the first game? Where did it all begin? Well, it was um, yours, wasn't it? Yeah, I started off with this like a small quiz game. This is just when I was like dabbling with programming just and testing the words, yeah. Yeah. yeah, fooling around and stuff. But uh, shortly after that, I, I made this this small tank game, and I, I entered it into this competition, and uh, it won us uh, a, a nine months license, license to Unity, to, yeah. to Unity, which is a piece of software that we still use today, which is what we actually developed right on our latest mm. game. So how many games have you guys made in, in that time now? Probably about seven, actually. We entered quite a few competitions through the years. Um, one of the games we made was called Snakes and Ladders, and it was really simple. We just decided to make a Snakes and Ladders game for the iPad because mm. there wasn't one available. And it was incredible because we got featured by Apple. We sold about 7,000 copies within a few My weeks. Word. And uh, it, yeah, it was one of those experiences where we said, you know, actually, we can make a lot of money doing this. This is a, a viable mm. job for our futures. So we got really heavily into it after that. But this is an amazing thing to me. You kind of live in an era where you think everything's been done. You know, the, the, yes. the idea that someone hasn't made snakes and ladders for the iPad. The iPad, right. Um, and it is. It's, yeah. a, it's a wonderful learning tool. Um, you know, we've seen how it's been used with autistic children. Mm. Um, but it, this is, I mean, an unlimited playground to play. And dude, uh, what's going on there? How are you guys, uh, <laughs> how are you guys coping, I am man? I'm totally uh, wrecking right now. He's getting annihilated. He, no, 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 I'm not. Look at this. This no. is me. Oh, press, I'm in a corner. Press A, corner. Press, a. Press, press A, press A. Press A, press A. Press A. Press a. Press a. Press a. X, X, A. There we go. Yeah, no, run, 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 Force run. Field. I think they're Force looking for a backdoor again. code, man. Something just to, to help them. Sam, um, explain to us. What game is this? What are they doing? What's happening here, man? Well, um, oh, cat it's the latest totally game, Red. Yeah. Red. This is, uh, this is a game we're launching on the iPhone, the iPad, and the Ouya, which is the new console you see they're playing on there. Uh, I was kind of inspired. Basically a survival game. Yeah, it's right. a survival game. We were inspired by raw color and paint. So, as you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff splatting on the ground. Oh, this is cool. You've softened it up so it's not too violent. You have, to get to, you, you have your fix. You know, you go. Yeah. Uh, you get your rocks off, which is, is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and we've made it to be really addictive. There's lots of power-ups, and uh, this is going to be one of the launch titles on the new Ouya console, which is a Kickstarter project that mm. started last year. And it's an Android-based console that's going to be available in June, I believe. So we're one of the launch titles on there. Unbelievable. Yeah. Knife Media is your company. Knife Media. Okay, talk really to us cool. about that. That Obviously, you want to own this intellectual property. You guys have got to protect yourselves, and you're up against some big guns. We are up against some big guns, but in South Africa, the market's quite small. So this is one thing that I've thought is a great opportunity to take hold of, which is that there's so much availability for freelance game design in South Africa because there aren't really many companies that yeah. do it. And one of the things I see as being the future is games as an advertising medium. I don't think a lot of South African companies have picked up on that. And so I really see the future as being young people engaging with brands through games that are developed by yeah, game development companies. And so that's something that we're actually moving into now, that we're also available for is freelance game design. That's one of our big things. It's brilliant. So you're not just following a trend, you're actually creating a bit of a new trend here, which is exactly, this awesome. Exactly, you're riding a, riding a new wave. Very, yeah. very cool, man. What, what would you say in your, in your developmental years, what was that, that, that hook, that thing that allowed you to dream to this degree, Sam? What was the, the thing that got you thinking about, hang on a minute, I could be a game designer, I can actually make this a viable career? It, uh, it wasn't really like, um, oh like kind of a light bulb above the, the head kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> it was more of a, a gradual realization. So like, yeah, the more, the more I could see my work coming together, just like 
uh, working properly, the more I realize, you know, um, this is becoming something I can do properly, you know. Mm. Yeah. Where does it go us, yeah. from here? What's next? <laughs> what, where, do you see yourself competing with the big guns overseas? What is your what is the hope and dream? Man? Hopefully yeah, we get to that to point. To GDC yeah, we're like thinking that. maybe going to one of the game conferences over the next few years and showing some of our stuff. Uh, the government's very kindly uh, funds that kind of uh, expo uh, trips. They actually can pay with taxpayer money for people to go out there and show their wares abroad. So it could be quite a cool thing to apply for and we're thinking about doing that. Yeah. Would you would you let uh, someone buy you out at the stage? I know you, <laughs> you know, if someone comes with a hundred million a bucks and puts it on the table, think? that's a different story. But would you Probably. would you I give away your own creative freedom, let's say, to to sort of work for one of the big guns? I think it depends. So. Probably depends on the yeah. amount of money. <laughs> Twenty bucks <laughs> one time, man. Yes, please. Great. Yeah. yeah, but um, yeah, we we we'd say to young developers who are really interested in getting into sort of industry. You know, just persevere. Yeah. Really, really mm. keep on going. I mean, also Sam as well. Yeah. Like, you've got some views on how to how to learn this. Very, it can be yeah, quite complicated. Yeah, I mean, this is, like, is hectic stuff, man. What are your advice for? What is your advice? Yeah. So, um, the I find the best way, one of the best ways to get into it is to just experiment. Like, download free software that can help you help you do this kind of stuff, and just mm. yeah, just fool around, experiment, and yeah, that's how I got into it. Yeah. You, don't, you don't need to buy like a ton of books on programming, game development. Yeah. Just have like fun, by yeah, the Just have fun, <laughs> tinker, do what you want. Yeah. And I suppose it does help having supportive parents or having family and friends that can Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. That was yeah. one of the big uh, stepping stones for us, was having a father who was really into computers himself, and also a mother who's been very supporting over the years. So well, thanks, Mom. Yeah, well, thank you guys. <laughs> if you're getting it right and you're doing it for yourselves, that sends the right kind of message to your exactly. parents as well, and to your school, and to your mates. Mm. Um, mm. Where do we get your stuff? I, I know you're releasing now with a new yeah. console, but um, how do how do we get your apps? How do we get your games? How do we get get stuck in? So that? Red is available now on the Ouya, which is this new console that's going to be available in June. So if you have one of the early Ouyas, you can buy it right now. But cool. uh, it's coming out in June uh, with the retail launch. And for iPhone and iPad, we're going to do a July release as well. Awesome, man. Mm. Very, very cool. Do you guys have a website or a, a way we, we can do. engage with the YouTube So if anyone channel? wants to talk to us or see what we do, we're at knifemedia.com or you can go on Twitter forward slash knifemedia and Facebook forward slash knifemedia. Knife Media is quite a hardcore name as well. Exactly, man. hardcore, good, cutting good edge. Good for that one, man. Guys, Thanks, bro. Poor. Dude, that is awesome. Did we get the stamp of approval? Guru, it is, man. It is fantastic. I, I, haven't, I haven't heard a peep out of you, Oaks, man. That is absolutely <laughs> brilliant. It oh, man. But, gentlemen, thank you so much. This has been inspiring. Thanks for having You've us. got my creative juices going now. Um, and I've got none of what either of you have. So, <laughs> if you can inspire me, I think you've inspired a lot of people out there. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, I wonder if that's inspired a new level of creativity in the kitchen, guys. <laughs>